I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I and it guy, gotta watch the time cause it's fine. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Okay, it's nobody's best friend. Subscribe to my channel, do that quickly, quickly. Turn on the notification bell, like, comment. Yeah, this is like our third video, right? On my fashion channel. I'm really grateful for those that have reached out to me, claiming they actually enjoy this channel, that they look forward to it. Even though it's very small, I like the fact that people actually appreciate this channel. I'm so grateful too. Please do me the favor of sharing it to your friends and family and social media platform. I would appreciate that. So today, we're going to be talking about body proportion. Like how to inculcate body proportion into your fashion, into your everyday life, you know, these things. Yeah, I'm standing today, right? I thought to do something different. Okay, moving on. Okay, body progression is actually very, very important for dressing. Yeah, why right? you can do the whole body shape thing, rules that we do, and then how to um, shop, you know, how to build your wardrobe and stuff like that. I don't actually let you know the importance of body progression while dressing. Okay, we have this um, way you can divide your body into one, two, three. That's just like the basic way of. Um, dressing you know the basic way you can look and all that so i'm going to attach a picture but meanwhile i'm going to make it quite um illustrative like i'm going to demonstrate so you you get the hint okay like this is my navel so like above my navel is my waist you know like about an inch or so this is how you divide your body one this is the one part first part you divide the first part one then from your waist to your knee is the second and from your knee downwards is the third so like i'm going to teach you the third rule of dressing the third rule of the body proportion rule okay you can divide your body into three while dressing so that means when you want to dress you okay like let's assume with this my look let's assume i'm wearing a top and make sure my top gets here so this is like one and my gown is to my new so when i dress you get i'm taking a look one and i'm taking up that then dividing my body into three while dressing but most times the, the like you could go with being i'm attaching pictures and you can also look at me the number one i'm going with is cutting here off right and then Wearing something that will go from above your navel down, all right? When you wear it down, that's a golden ratio, right? You wear your top to this length, then from there down, that's a golden ratio. Then if you want to dress in another way, you could, um, let's see. We are, let's say, um, how do I explain this for this to make sense? You could also now, I mean, I'm, I'm quite stressed like this. Okay, so now we are taking your top out, you separated it. So then you could, if you want to wear a jacket and a top and trousers, so it's only people just wear like this big top, wear the big jacket, then they wear the jean trousers. Mm -mm. Wear your top, tucking it. Put your trousers on your waist. So now you're dividing your body into the two, or two third, one third. Meaning, top to jacket, top to, um, top to skirt, the jacket on top. The jacket is in between here. You get. Or then, you could still maintain one two. Then your skirt cut down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or if you want to wear a top and a legging, some people would wear the leggings from up, the leggings will reach their knee. Before, like, they wear a top from head to their knee, they don't have leggings. No, don't do that, don't do that. 
you wear a top and the top stop midriff um mid tie then you wear your leggings you look better even if you want to get a plain jean and your top do not allow your top to come down below your belt like you know like your pvc um pvc area no yep the top can just come below your waistline your, your belt line right just here and sit with your jean trousers and you're going to look smart so this rule it might seem technical but it's actually not too technical the, you can extend the rule from third to sixth you know like this dress i'm wearing this is like one my top is in between my knee and my like it's on my calf area i divided my body into four right maybe it's me so dividing your body actually plays a big role in how you look you know i would always like want to you know i will always yes it requires advanced skill for it to go to the cyst but this basic rule is important dividing your body into the whole one the whole two the whole three i've talked about the whole top and trousers like i always explain that most times i just this thing and i might forget to talk about it and this that hey, do you understand so when you wear a top and your jean we are using the one third this one third over the two third so your trouser is from here to your nail that's two third and then if you want to use another rule the other way you have your two third up like when you wear a gown from up to your knee so your gown just stop on your knee you get and then you know that your calf is exposed so what you're doing your two third is up and your one third is down as opposed to being a top up and then a jean trousers are down like you top that reach or are you are you talking your top do you understand so your one third is up i, I hope you just seen the pictures has been attached one third is up then your two thirds is down when you wear a trouser that is here am i making sense yeah but when you wear a gown your two thirds is here a gown that goes to your knee your two thirds is now up then your one third is down so most times you look smarter especially when you are short when you wear a gown that gets to your knee and then something like that and okay, but most times when you just wear a gown below your new small it's always looking tacky i'm a short person so i know what i'm saying looking from experience then the other one i talked about if you want to wear a jacket do not wear your top then a jacket make sure your jacket is kind of long like as you can see my jacket is on the long side right but then if it's like the blazers make sure it's just oversized blazers and if you watch most korean drama they like wearing oversized blazers they are ladies it's not like just like oversized they are maintaining the body proportion rules as i even if though it's oversized and it looks big even with big trousers they still slay and if they don't slay more than those that would get tight trousers yes you've got a proportion rule that's why you see them wear this total neck top then they put their oversized shirts on their waist and then they have a big jacket that is like on this length here because they are maintaining the body proportion rule at that point they have the inner is one toed two toed then the external that's it, the jacket has two third on top, then one third below. I will attach a picture of it so you get the concept. I hope I'm making sense because most times people do not understand these things and they tend to misunderstand it, right? It's not rocket science. Then along the line, when you get better with this fashion thing, you could now, even your one third, you could divide them into two to dress. I'm going to quickly and um, you can divide it one into three and so on and so forth with your t-shirt i talked about your t-shirt and how you can properly wear your leggings i'm going to attach the picture of that this video is going to be quite short but i just want you to understand that putting your outfit in proportions is the technique that you can't go wrong with that's the way you watch wrong videos you see them you get you see the way of big shirts talking it into trousers the shirt will be hanging so loose like an hanger for and then the trousers do you understand even if your trousers is a jumper you still go as opposed to when you even get a tight shirt and the shirt is getting to 
whatever looking all tacky and stuff i don't know if this really 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 makes sense to you but i know it makes sense to people who really want to be able to create their fashion i always make sure i bring basic crews for you to be able to create your own type of fashion so that you don't always have to go online to look for what to wear you don't always have to go you know to have to make sure to wait for trend you could be the trend because once you know these things you can run with them so please try to bring in your fashion as well dressing when you want to sew your ashwabi when you want to uh, make buy your shirt for your dinner wears when you, whatever it is that you're trying to um get just try to inculcate this um third fashion rule and as you get better you can use four five six but when you are trying to use this whole six seven eight whatever make sure you don't forget that from here to from as in from here above your navel upward is one to your nail is two is three so now you can divide from your nail to your foot your feet into two we get then from your nail to above your navel like your waist is into two then you divide from here yeah, operate into two by so doing you are creating more um division in your body proportion that even happen for your hand when you're wearing dresses you know most times dresses that get hair you see that they are not just that fine they don't be giving like hey they don't be giving if you wear sleeve dress hair and hair so that's why most times when you want to do this thing you see how big my hand is because please if because once it's divided like once it's divided your sleeveless yet and then you divide you can wear like the sleeveless then you divide to hair one it's to hair do you understand so when your shirt is here it's just fine but once you cut when you're looking tacky so if you just want to go overboard make it go overboard you see my hand can come out from you actually this is just how my gown is i didn't make it sense when you just wear it here you'll be looking funny but once you put it here you look fine and then if you want to divide this place you come down here and you divide you come down here you divide makes sense right and then when you see some person they just wear their shirt stops here and they put on their wrist watch. they look very smart as opposed to for those you get to, to be looking so somehow so then all this body proportion rule to so combine this body proportion rule to your body type and then see how good you can get like a, a, a pear shaped person you know i'm putting on a very flashy top you get something that calls attention to my upper body and it just stops here so imagine me wearing a very flashy extravagant top you know something and it just stops here and then, then i put i'm putting on a body con skirt with that so imagine how it's going to look as opposed to I'm wearing a very extravagant shirt and the shirt is here and then I now put on a bodycon skirt like bodycon shirt skirt right yeah you see the difference but then if I was wearing a top that gets here I hope you make sense and then if you're going to wear leggings instead of when a big top from head to you know all these things no you just divide it here you apply that rule so instead of using the complete two toward or there instead of say you divide again so now it's of three like you're into four or something so your top will stop here and then you wear your leg in so you know these things about rules is like you know when to move and when to step back again you know how to apply the laws at the right place but the most important thing i'm going to say like i always say it's not easy when you start so you have to be patient with yourself you have to take this thing a step at a time make sure you understand that okay i'm not perfect yet too but very soon i'll get there and don't get discouraged easily so and also feel free to ask me questions in the comment section i'm going to see you again next week and i'm going to talk about something else i'll keep talking about things that we need to know about fashion and maybe if it very soon in my uh, youtube shirt i'm going to be making videos of how to some laws some rules some combinations some looks right of how i'm dressed so that you're going to understand 
some things that maybe you do not understand or if you just want to see but then i won't encourage anybody to dress like me because that's one of the reasons why this channel is here to discourage you dressing like another person but encourage you to form your own fashion to look the way you want to look okay and don't forget i have another channel my alter ego um rita okri rita okri yeah and i will attach a link for you to just click and move to the next channel when you go there watch subscribe and like also drop your opinion on things you think i should change or work on i would really really appreciate it you know i'm still small i'm still growing i'm trying to build something here and i'm not perfect and i really do not know much so if you have any opinion if you want to promote my channel please do it i'll appreciate it the easiest way to do that is by sharing my videos talking to people about me tell them that okay there's a new youtuber called nobody's best friend and she can talk her talk so a lot of persons can come and watch and also share that's the fastest way to grow this channel and i appreciate you all oh, this is short but i hope it made sense i hope you enjoyed it because i actually enjoy talking to you all every time all right go be a fashion girl or a fashion boy because the rule applies to everyone look good and sleep hard don't forget drip is internal Bye.